Uh, Tina yes. Miller, Don Clark, we've got some businesses we want to thank here. Yes. Sandy with us. Mm -hmm. And first of all, there it is. <laughs> DB and Company Printing and Marketing. We're talking about David Bass and his crew that really know what they're doing from the biggest company to the smallest. They can do it all. So it's uh, dbandcompany.com. And uh, for that, this wonderful gentle therapy, it's the Colon Therapy Center with Janet Eileen Mitchell at, out at Callaway and Brim Hall. It's, it's new in Bakersfield, and uh, people are just raving about the health benefits they are feeling and experiencing from going through this very gentle, <coughs> very gentle therapy. And it's just bakersfieldcolonics.com. And, <coughs> boy, my voice today. Welcome to the Valley. <laughs> Cruise through Car Wash. Uh, seven locations here in Bakersfield. Five minutes, you're in and out, and you've got a great wash. Uh, spot free, and then two over in uh, the Lancaster Palmdale area. Uh, and uh, we really, really love the, having these guys as our sponsor. And, and we'd like guy. to thank our dear friends uh, over at Kern Construction and Electric. Robert Miller, longtime resident of Bakersfield, delights in remodeling your home, your businesses. Um, he can be contacted at 661-322-5554. Thank you, Robert. And we just want to say another word of thanks and praise oh, to Channel yes. 17 and, yes. and Anna DeGrazias for that wonderful story. Yes, Don. shows how she just, uh, from a journalistic standpoint, that was she laid excellent. out the whole story. It was excellent. Yes. And all I can say about this next segment is, boy, am I glad I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> <laughs> this just looks fabulous. Yes, yes. Let's uh, let's show a little clip and then we'll come back and find out who we have in the studio okay. with us. Okay, here we go. I thought I had something because people kept telling me it was good, you know, and then the more they told me, the more I believed it. And I did knew I couldn't continue to do it out of my home, so I had to look for a place to do it. For two years, Kimber tried to market her cobbler, but faced many obstacles. I had a lot of family problems, um, even a separation from my husband. I had to go back to school. Um, I had to go back to take bookkeeping and accounting in order to know how to set up a business, first of all. Mm -hmm. And it was real difficult that it worked out so well because uh, sometimes obstacles make you try harder. Yes, ob oh. obstacles sometimes make you try harder. And as you can see, that video was probably a few years ago, but that was Barbara Kimber, and she's in the studio with us. She's known as the Cobbler Queen. The Queen of Cobblers. <laughs> queen of Cobblers. <laughs> Welcome, Barbara. Thank you for uh, having me. Yes. Maybe I should bring this closer. Go. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, Barbara, welcome to Open Up. We love your look this morning. You see, I love gold and black. Uh, and gold and black on this side, uh, too. <laughs> Barbara, I wanted to ask, uh, maybe I misunderstood, but as you uh, got more involved in, in your business, did that contribute to... Uh, 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 to tension in your home? Did you have to deal with that, or was that an entirely different thing? It was creeping, creeping up, kind of like your last segment. My daughter had um, gotten on drugs, and then my husband and I, we had some difficulties, and so it didn't really create a problem, but it's just that it made my focus off, so I had to kind of take time and deal with so many things at one time. Uh-huh, mm. uh -huh. Yeah, so. So, Barbara, um, uh, so K Kimber's Cobblers, uh -huh. Talk to us. How we saw just a portion of a video that's actually on YouTube, mm -hmm. and it's about 12 minutes long or so, uh, right. 11 to 12, and it gives the full background and the story of how you got started. And yes. So, uh, so give us a little highlight of that. Well, I actually had a dream, and this sounds really kind of strange, yeah. but I was always looking for something to to do differently, mm -hmm. and so I have this. I dream in color, and, and I have wow. a great imagination too. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to think <laughs> of something different, and it just came to me in a dream. You know, how if I made something pineapple? And so I decided when I hit the floor to just try it out, and then I said, you know what? Uh, I don't know how it tastes. So I don't want to be the first one because, see, you think you're always a good cook. Yeah. And so I said, let me call my friends and let them, ex um, you know, I even made a strawberry. Mm. And so anyway, I said, let me call June. Let me call some different ones. They came over and they said, oh, this is really good. So I use them as <coughs> guinea pigs. Friends, though, huh? Yes. Uh -huh. But I want them to not lie to me because, yeah. <laughs> see, sometimes when people say, oh, I have something that's really good, well, you can't really say that it's good. You have to mm -hmm. let the public tell you. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you're going to market it. Mm -hmm. Right. Excellent. Okay. So pineapple was the start of it? Yes. Like a, okay. The, the vanilla. I start out with the vanilla. And to be honest, this, these flavors that you guys are tasting, it's kind of new to Bakersfield because oh. I saved some for last. 
Oh, so, uh, okay. our uh, Morgan Clay, Mr. Morgan Clay with Teltec, yes. he had been getting cobbles from me down through the years, and so he um, had never knew that I make um, the uh, flavors, and so he said, "Well, my God, Barbara, you can't stop." You know, he says, "Let me <laughs> let me come as your consultant, and then we'll find a you know someone to take a look at this." So he mm -hmm. uh, right now, as we speak, he's on board looking out to help me to locate a home for these cobblers. Oh, isn't that, isn't that nice? And he volunteered. I these. <laughs> yes. Uh, Barbara, we, how, how big do you want to get? Mm -hmm. as, mean, big, as big as I can. No. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I, it's not even about the money so much uh, right now. But, but I need to recoup some of my losses on the kind of this thing have driven me literally into bankruptcy. Yeah, and so I don't you know, apologize and say, oh, my God, you know, because I didn't try. I never got a business loan. And so uh, Jeff Johnson over at the Wiles Institute, different ones, right. they, they told the truth that sometimes it's to your advantage to be um, black, uh -huh. uh, you know, or older, right. single right. at the time I was separated from my husband. But they don't always on paper work with a bank. You uh -huh. still have to have collateral. Uh -huh. So I had to go to friends and, you know, uh, there was a, a Jim and Pat Edwards, uh, they now live in Weaverville. An older couple, they were so kind to me. I, they didn't know whether I could pay them back or not, but I went and said, hey, you know, I'm going to step out on faith. I'm going to ask them if they could just help me out just a little. They pulled out the checkbook and wrote me out a check, and I was able to get, you know, start production. And, and I had to go from friend to friend sometimes and just kind of use my own resources until it ran out. Mm -hmm. So this is what I am now. I need to find someone that have the resources to uh, take this thing on the next level. It, it, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, can it, Shark Tank, going before, have you thought about that? Uh, What's your thoughts? It's been recommended to me, but okay. you know how, I don't know who made that song, I Did It My Way, uh -huh. but I kind of <laughs> don't want to go on Shark Tank. <laughs> yes. I have personal reasons for sure. that, but um, I, because this is the home of uh, the cobblers and, and Bakersfield have did me so good and everything, mm -hmm. I kind of want it to be that when YouTube, when someone goes on there and they see that this is the home of the pineapple desserts, mm -hmm. they can see that this is a Bakersfield project. It really is. Mm -hmm. I can't even claim it all the way because mm -hmm. Bakersfield have kept me alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so just to give you an example, uh, Sweet Surrender Bakery. Yes. Oh, yeah, the best. Uh, oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and Kimberly is so sweet. And she wanted to take this on. She had never heard of it. So she mm -hmm. said, we'll just try one day and then we'll add if it works another day. Well, what happened, Jim Scott gave me some coverage. And then uh, Trine Smart, that you see the commercial running for uh, Geico. Mm -hmm. She's a cousin of mine. So she gave me um, some free advertisement because she had a, a, some things going on with 99.3. So she gave uh, out certificates uh, or gift certificates for Sweet Surrender mm -hmm. to go get uh, pineapple cobbles for free, and they could win them on the air. Well, it just made the foot traffic and phones go off the hook and everything. So mm -hmm. it got in the way of their, their business as usual. Mm -hmm. So this thing here is so unfortunate because... Someone needs to take it that can have room for it, you know. It and, and when you say someone needs to take it, what, what do you want them to take? I want them to, uh, to take the whole nine yards. I will license it out to them, but I hope to just sell it and just let them take it over and do whatever and call it whatever, not Kimber's Cobbles, but, you know, let it become Wh Which theirs. includes the original recipe yes. and... and and different, I uh, do like uh, nine or ten different flavors. Okay. And actually, uh, the vanilla flavor uh, is the one that Redline Inn used to use when be before it became Double Tree. Well, Tom Hewitt used to love it, and he would take the vanilla and do so much with it, you know, like serve it with different flavors of ice cream. Yeah, mm. you can you you can take it and put whatever your favorite ice cream, strawberry, chocolate, whatever, or whipped Don't cream. Be, yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. where, where where do you make this? Is this all in your kitchen? How, how how does it work? Right now it is, but but I haven't been making them. I went and got my business license renewed because if someone gets on YouTube and 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 try to contact Bakersfield and say. Well, I want to um, see about Kimber's Cobbles. Well, I don't know about Kimber's Cobbles, so I had to kind of cover myself, you, you see, just for business. But I, I just do it basically for advertisement just to make, keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Just oh, make a few okay. samples and, okay. yeah, and keep people making noise about it. Um, <laughs> keep people making noise about it. Woo! Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> pardon me. So um, right now you're just making them for, like, for us on yep. the show here today and we're going to be tasting it <laughs> and we'll tell you about it after <laughs> after the break when we come back but um you're are you able to make this uh, a, 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 let's say a large uh supply if someone wanted to order um I'm staying away from that right now because I'm really looking and focusing on the marketing side of it okay because I've did all that 24 almost 25 years while I've did 25 yes years. 
I've did all of that. I've been in business with a, a local business here in town, teaming up with them, and mm -hmm. you know it, it have did quite well. Um, Sebastian over at, um, uh, out at Rio Bravo used to use them for uh, different uh, events, mm -hmm. and I mean the Cobbler have had just a lot of uh, publicity. And when we come back from the break, I'd like to know what's the difference between this cobbler and cobblers we see elsewhere. Okay, I can okay. tell you. So when we come back, we'll be tasting and telling. Mm, can't wait. <laughs>